This is the best evidence of an actual time traveler that we have. In 2006, in the city of Kyiv, Ukraine, police were called to deal with a confused man. When they arrived, they found a young man who was scared, didn't know where he was, and was dressed in strange anachronistic clothing, carrying a camera. Little did they know that they were possibly standing face to face with an actual time traveler. The man's name was Sergei Ponomarenko, and when the police asked him for his ID, he handed it to them, and the first thing they noticed was that it was issued from a country that didn't exist anymore, the Soviet Union. Ukraine was, of course, part of the Soviet Union in the past, but the Soviet Union had what? dissolved almost a couple of decades ago at that point. So let's just say the police didn't see those IDs much anymore, especially on young people, and this guy looked like he was in his 20s. And yet his ID stated that his birth date was in 1932, and he matched the picture in the ID. Something didn't add up. When they asked him what day he thought it was, he answered April 23rd, 1958. And that's when the police said, okay, we're gonna take you to a little room where you can talk to the nice doctor. What the Yeah. <laughs> so Sergei winds up in a mental hospital in the care of Dr. Pavlo Kudrakov. So the doctor played along with this whole idea and he asked him if he could figure out or if he could remember how he wound up in 2006, even though he thought it was 1958. And as recorded by the doctor, Sergei said, quote, it was daytime and I wanted to go for a walk in the city. I took my camera, but when I left my house, I saw a strange object that had a bell shape and it was very strange, and it was flying in a strange way. It's difficult to explain what I was seeing. It might be better to look at the photos from my camera. Dr. Kutrakov was curious, so he got a hold of the camera, and the first thing he noticed was that it was an old, rare Yashima Flex. The doctor was a bit of a photographer himself, so he recognized the brand and knew right away that this was like an antique, which is a problem what because it fun? used a type of film that hadn't been manufactured since the 1970s. You can't just take it down to the CVS to get it developed, so he called in a photography expert named Vadim Poisner. Fadim got the film out and he was able to see from the real info uh, that it was manufactured in 1956. But it was in perfect condition. So he developed the roll and uh, this what? is when everything just kept getting weirder. What he found on the roll were photos of Kiev, but clearly from a long time ago. All the cars, all the clothes, all the street signs, all were from the 50s. And there were photos of buildings that didn't exist anymore. And right there in front of those buildings was Sergei with his girlfriend at the time out enjoying a beautiful day wearing the exact same clothes he was found in. And the last photo on the reel, just as Sergei had suggested, featured a bell-shaped UFO. When the doctor asked him about the UFO photo, Sergei said, quote, now are you convinced I'm telling the truth? I so far do not understand what this object is and how something like that happened to me at the same moment when I took the picture and I went down to look at the camera and somehow I showed up in this year.